I was reeling it top water. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking tank. Yo, oh, 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 he hammered it. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment of the day is popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Please excuse the mess in the background. I just moved into this apartment yesterday, still unpacking, getting my room set, all that stuff, but that's besides the point. So a couple weeks ago, I was scrolling through a website called Kickstarter. For those of you who do not know what Kickstarter is, basically it's a website where new businesses start up and try to raise funds for their new inventions and ideas. So knowing me, I'm always looking for new fishing lures, fishing rods, reels, new fishing inventions that I can use in one of my videos and film for you guys. So when I was scrolling through Kickstarter, I actually found a really cool new lure, which is actually in this box right here. I snapped my tripod in half literally an hour ago, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to set you guys up here. Aha, there we go. So this is the box that it comes in. This is a super cool invention slash idea that I've never seen before. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up, and right when you open it up, you guys might be wondering what these two little things are right here, and we're about to go over that. So right here it says, founded by Kickstarter, it says, nice to meet you. And these capsules right here actually have some super cool technology that I've never seen in a bait before. Oh yeah, all right, look in there. So we have like here, I'm gonna pour them out my hand for you guys. You guys see these little beads right here? Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna make a mess. All of these actually go inside of the lure. So the purpose of these capsules is you actually put them inside of your tube in the top right here to be exact. And what it's gonna make this bait look like is it's gonna make it look like it's actually like bleeding in the water. It's gonna make it fizz a little bit and move around, really aggravate those bass. And I've never seen an artificial lure like this on the market, and I think we'll be able to catch a ton of fish on it. So we have our little capsule right here, super tiny. What we're gonna do is put it on the top of this tube, just like so. You guys see it right here? On top of the tube, there's a hole, and what you do is there's a stick that comes in the package. And all you do is you shove the capsule down into the tube, just like that. So now, this tube has a capsule loaded up in it, which is basically gonna make this bait move around a lot, look like it's bleeding, and just look more lively to attract more fish. So right here in the bait, I don't know if you guys can see that there's a little hole. That's actually where all the stuff from the capsule is going to pour out of this bait and make it look real and lively. Well folks, I have no clue if this is gonna work. Never used it before, but I thought it was just such a cool concept to stumble upon when I was on Kickstarter that I wanted to give it a go out on the water for myself, test it with you guys, but I'm excited. I mean, this is a really cool Kickstarter find and we're gonna go out in the water and go try to catch some fish on it. So I will see you guys out on the water. All right, we're here at the pond. We have our beautiful box here with the Kickstarter baits inside. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I've already opened it, but these are the capsules we're gonna put in the tubes later. We're gonna set this to the side. And voila, look at all of these beautiful tubes in here. We got red, we got green, we got pink, we got black. I think we're gonna go ahead and start off with some watermelon tubes. Let's go ahead and give these boys a sniff. Woo! <laughs> Oh boy, those are stinky. Now normally these things come with a stick, but I seem to have already lost the stick that comes with it. So we're gonna go find a little stick on a tree over here. Hmm, let's see here. Uh, you shall do right here. All right, so we got our capsules loaded up. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig this thing just really quick here. So what I have on here is just a four-aught wide gap hook. And what we're gonna do is normally you think you start from this end, but actually with the tube, you start from this end and go down just like that, bring this up and right through there like so. And we are rigged up and ready to go. We got the weightless hook on there. The tube is all tied up and we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. I'm really excited to see the action of this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the water just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's sweet. Guys, it's like bubbling and moving, and I don't even have to move my rod, and it's literally sitting there on the ground moving. Check this out. Oh, you see that on my fingers? That's like blood from the capsule, so, so it looks like this tube is bleeding in the water to the fish. Oh, oh, it's going everywhere. What, where is this coming out of? Oh, you guys, okay. There's a little hole right here in the bait. So slowly those capsules will dissolve, I guess, and then it drips all this red stuff out. So I probably shouldn't have it all over my fingers. <laughs> That's super cool though. So this thing like moves around in the water. looks like it's bleeding. looks like a real live bait, but it's an artificial bait. It's like a super cool idea. 
Oh! Oh my gosh, guys, I just got hit. Right here. Oh, <laughs> I saw him come up and swipe at it, but I don't think he took it all the way. Oh, that was him. Got him, guys. We're on the tube. We're on with the tube. Where's he at? Where's he at? I don't see. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a better one. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Yo, no way. Look at that, guys. That is a freaking solid first fish. Probably close to two pounds there. Absolutely annihilated the tube top water right when I threw it in there. That was freaking crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh heck yeah. We're going to have to tie on a new tube, folks, because I, I tore it out. That way I could get the hook out of his mouth. So we're going to go tie on a probably a different color tube and give that a try. All right, we're going to go ahead and tie on a different color here. And I really do like this black color. I think this will probably slay. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these guys out. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to be throwing one of these black tubes. Now, this thing actually looks super mean. And we're going to go ahead and load this one up with capsules as well. Oh! Got him! Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? Oh, this is a good one. It's a good one. Oh my gosh, guys! On the black tube. I was reeling at top water. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that. That is a freaking what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Yo! Holy cow! That is a freaking tank! Yo! What's going on? On the black tube? Are you kidding me? Yo! No way do we just catch this hoss right here. In my book, guys, that is all day easy for pushing five. But I don't have a scale, so I don't want to call it anything. But that is a freaking toad. Are you kidding me? We're going to go ahead and let him go because I don't want to go back to my car, grab the scale, and hurt this guy. So we're going to go ahead and get him in the water and let him grow to get bigger and even stronger and healthier. Oh, my gosh. Oh, holy cow. Oh, my gosh. That is wild. Let me know down below how big you guys think that fish was. I mean, the GoPro makes it kind of look weird, but I think that was like four pushing five all day, but I don't want to go back my trucks all the way over there to go grab a scale and risk that fish being healthy. So I wanted to go ahead and let him go. Well, that was my first cast with the black tube and I'm not disappointed at all. Maybe the capsules were leaving a trail that made that bass find it really easy here in this water, but that was just absolutely insane. Like they nailed it top water. Oh, got him, got him. Oh my gosh, he came off, are you kidding me? Oh no, guys, we were hopping the black tube and he came off. Ah, that's a shame. We were just hopping at that time, very slowly, just kind of little movements just like this. I'm just barely moving the rod and my line started taking off to the left. Didn't even feel him pick it up. Oh, got him. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that blow up? I was reeling it in, finishing up my cast. Oh my gosh. One thing I have noticed in that last fish I caught too was actually pretty skinny. So he might not quite have been five just because it looks like they're lacking a little bit of food out here. Also, this guy's blind in that eye. You see that? Look at his eye. Look at this eye. That's like how the eye is supposed to look. And then on this side, this guy can't see out of one eye. Poor little dude. He probably thought he was going to get a free meal. Looks like he's been skipping lunch for a few days. Oh, sorry, buddy. I feel bad catching that one. All right. See you, man. All right, so this spot was a success. We're gonna go ahead and move to spot number two. It's actually a spot I don't think I've ever fished with you guys before. I fished it a long time ago and come my PB, which back then was like five and a half pounds. There's some big bass in this spot. And I think with this live bleeding bait that they've never seen before, we might be able to catch something out of there, but I have no clue. I haven't been here in years, but it could be fun. Guys, I was getting in my truck and there's this little dog. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Hey, buddy. You want some water? Here you go. You want some water? 
You want some water, bub? Hey, come, come on. Oh, good boy. Good boy. All right. Well, Fido, stay out of the road, buddy. See you, bud. All right, so we're out here at the second spot, and I saw that dog while I was driving here. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? Look at that bait fish busting right there. This is a good sign. Oh, got him. We're tight, we're tight. Oh, you're in the middle. There we go. On the red tube. <laughs> yes, let's go, baby. First one here at the, at the new spot. Not that long of a fish, but he's got a belly on him. That's for sure. Heck yeah, that was fun. That was our first fish on the red tube here. All I'm doing is making long casts out here in the deep water and just kind of dragging this tube back in on the bottom. It's kind of like a sandy bottom out here. Let me know if you guys use tubes like up north. Down here in the south, I don't think I've ever thrown a tube. Like today, I think I caught my first fish ever on a tube. And I actually want to challenge you guys to fish with a lure you've never fished before. Because today I caught a pretty big fish on a lure I've never thrown before. I want to challenge you guys to throw something you've never thrown before. Comment down below what bait it's going to be that you're going to try for the first time next time you go out fishing. Do it for Fishing with Norm. I want to see you guys catch a big one on something new. Oh, that's him, that's him. Got him, guys, we're tight. Oh my gosh, he came off, you're kidding me. Oh, I cannot believe I just did that. Ah, oh. well, we're walking down, trying some new areas that I haven't tried before out here on this pond. We just hooked up with one. He wasn't all that big, but I mean, it would have been nice to land him. Jeez, man. But we're casting parallel to the bank here. I'm not casting deep anymore, just because it's kind of getting later in the day. We only got like 30 minutes of daylight left. And the clouds are out, it's overcast, so I figure these fish, instead of like staying deep in some colder water in the summer heat, I feel like they're kind of pushing up, trying to feed. So that's why I'm making parallel casts instead of casting deep out right now. And that was the first time I tried it, and boom, there we go. Good luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. With a rubber worm or it's a, it's like a tube thing. It's like I got it off Kickstarter. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know like that website where it's like stuff that isn't on the market yet, but okay. it's like a weird tube, and you put little pellets in it, and it makes it look like it's bleeding. <laughs> so you put them like in the top right here, and there's yeah. a little thing that comes in the pack that you shove down tubes in this part, and there's a little hole here on the side. Oh yeah. And it makes it look like it's. Huh. Like it's bleeding and moves around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I see what looks to be like a little drainage ditch up here, which is getting me pretty excited because I've never fished it before. And there might be fish on it. Hopefully, please. <laughs> please let there be fish on this thing. Oh, 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 he hammered it. Oh, I knew he was going to be here, guys. I don't know if you saw that. We're going to have to get a replay on that. Oh, he about took the rod out of my hand. This guy, oh, I haven't been rocked like that in a while by a bass. That was crazy. I knew he was going to be here by this drainage pipe, guys. I mean, it just looks too freaking good. All right, folks, that's going to do it for the video. I had a ton of fun fishing with this box off of Kickstarter. It was super cool just, you know, trying something new. I love fishing with new baits. If you guys have any, like, new lures or any cool, like, technology-type lures that you want me to try out, leave a comment down below because I love just fishing with new stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I'd really appreciate a like. If you made it this far, obviously you enjoyed, so you might as well leave it with a like. Also, comment down below, like I said before, what lures, if any, any that you guys have seen before that you'd like me to go fishing with that I maybe have not tried. And last but not least, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell to join the Narmy, the strongest fishing army on YouTube. But guys, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here.